let's talk about the A number one granddaddy of them all for enumeration, NetBIOS. Understand that NetBIOS has been around, well, as long as Microsoft has been around and been on a network. And NetBIOS um, was a, a mechanism, is a mechanism for machines to talk on and identify themselves on a network. And um, they originally did it even long before the TCP IP days, and the machine had a, a NetBIOS name, a computer name. And then there was uh, a mechanism when Microsoft adopted uh, TCP IP that over certain TCP and UDP ports, you could talk to machines using NetBIOS uh, over TCP, basically, um, and ask them, what's your name? What work group are you in? Who's currently logged in? Do you have any shares? And in the early days of, um, before we got to Active Directory with NT, uh, the domain controllers would share browse lists this way, and machines would share browse lists this way by logging into each other without even um, actually providing a password. And it was all done through NetBIOS. To this day, 20 plus years later, Microsoft machines still support NetBIOS for backward compatibility. Not because they're backward compatible with machines 20 years ago, but with each successive generation of machine, they maintain backward compatibility all the way along. So popular has this mechanism been that Linux and Unix adopted it in order to be interoperable with Microsoft. So we can query NetBIOS like crazy to get all sorts of information. So taking a look here, first of all, a NetBIOS name. This is the original computer name in Microsoft. It's put in the registry. It has to be unique, at least within a network, well, certainly within broadcast range. Um, so a NetBIOS name is a 16-character name. Uh, and you could only use letters, numbers, and you can't start with a number either. Well, at least I don't think you can for most of the OSs. Um, so it's letters, numbers, and then a few special characters. There were only like three of them that you could have. Uh, the first 15 characters were the actual name, and the 16th character uh, basically identified um, what the device type was. And so you can query NetBIOS, and you can find out the name of the computer, the name of its domain. Uh, you can find out groups. You can find out the messenger service, which doesn't, <laughs> it's turned off. It's been long turned off. You can find out, is it a server or is it a workstation? Uh, you can find out if it is the one that holds the list of um, computers around, uh, what's called the master browser, the browse list. That's what shows up when you browse the network. Um, you can find out if it is the um, domain master browser, in other words, the primary domain controller. So this is information we could get out of NetBIOS. A lot of this stuff now is legacy historical, and Microsoft has shut it off even though you could turn it on if you wanted to. So we can use NetBIOS to get lists of computers, lists of shares, policies, passwords, users, groups. Um, Microsoft does not support it now for IPv6, uh, mainly because NetBIOS is broadcast-based, and IPv6 has no concept of broadcasting. Everything is multicast. And Microsoft did not adopt this uh, and make it um, possible to use on v6. So here is but one of many tools you can use for enumeration, super scan. It's a scanner and a pinger and a resolver, but it also includes Windows host enumeration. So it will give you all of the information, the host name, banner grabbing, port scanning, little report. It'll scan TCP and UDP. It detects the hosts. It, it does a discovery. But if we look here, if we zoom in, take a look at this, you can see, does it provide null sessions? What are MAC addresses? What type of workstation it is? Is it give me the users, give me the groups, uh, give me uh, anything on the RPC endpoint? That's how um, Microsoft machines talk to each other and work together across the network. Give me a p account policies, shares, domain if you have it, the time of day, login sessions, drives, any trusted domains, services, registry, all of this is enumerated through NetBIOS. We have other tools, NBT Stat, which is the built-in Microsoft command line tool. 
it will give you TCP IP NetBIOS statistics, including the name. Um, it'll uh, give you uh, groups. It'll give you the workgroup information. There's another one called Hyena. This is a GUI tool from Microsoft. It shows the shares and the logon names and gives you graphical representations of all of these services. Another one called Win Fingerprint, which enumerates users, users groups, SIDs, transport, sessions, services, service packs, hotfix levels, dates and times, disks, open ports. There's the NetBIOS Enumerator and the NS Auditor Network Security Auditor, sort of an all-in-one tool with like 45 tools here. So loads of tools, and these are just a few of them. So you can even just use command line tools like net. Net is a command that has all sorts of things, net user, net view, net share, net group, net, net local group. Um, here is an example of just saying net and then user. And so I can see all the users on this particular machine. And then there are the good old PS commands. Now these are from sysinternals. There is this gentleman named Dr. Mark Rasinovich. He created these things. Um, he was actually a thorn in Microsoft's side for a long time until they got smart and hired him. But he created all these tools that you can use to enumerate information. So PS exec, you can execute a command. Show me all the files, show me the SIDs, kill processes, uh, give me information, list processes, show me who's logged on, um, and show me password information, shut down. So there's a bunch of stuff we could enumerate just from the command line. So here's another example of using a net command, net view. So I use it to see all of the shares in, uh, on a machine. So I, I'm here, I'm saying net view, some computer name, and then it's showing me all the shares that this thing has. And it's describing, is, are these just shares on a disk or is this a printer share? Because some shares are not actually folders. They're like a connection to a printer or a connection to a process. Here's another tool called Share Enum. And so we, um, we're just looking at a particular machine. And one thing that's particular about, that's like actually specific to NetBIOS and Microsoft, you precede a computer name. So I have a target called Metasploitable, which runs the Samba SMB service. You precede the computer name with backslash backslash or whack whack. And, that's, and then if you want to look at the share name, so you say whack whack computer name, although you can usually slip in an IP address instead, and then whack the share name. So we can see that Metasploitable has one, two, three, four shares print dollar, which just means the, the printer service, a share called temp, a share called opt, and a share called MSF admin. And it actually shows you where they physically are. So we can see that they're physically in these locations. And then here's another server, server 00, is sharing its C drive. When you see a dollar sign on a share, that means it's hidden. It's there, but you, you can't see it just by browsing around. You have to, to use a tool like this to find it. Uh, there's a share called stuff and a share called test. Here are just some examples of um, using some share enumeration tools. So that is using NetBIOS enumeration.